Hello everyone and welcome back to Kukiran Cookie Trials in Kukiran Open Break with Alzroy Galcon. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how I finally managed to beat Stars Noodle Cookies Trial in the normal difficulty as well as the hard difficulty, aka the Diamond Gang and also the Rainbow Gang. And if you like this kind of content, then be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell so you won't miss out anything that I put on this channel. Everything is free, you don't need to pay, and by subscribing you make this channel grow and flourish even more, which makes me happy so I can create more content for you to watch. And before I talk about this particular cookies trial, shout out to Ren Ren Triple One underscore underscore in Twitter for identifying which cookie is based upon. Because I have no idea what this cookie is based upon. I we really know that it is based on noodles, but I could not identify which noodle it is because there are like thousands of variations of noodles. I was thinking about udon, which is one of the variations of noodles that this cookie is based upon, but it turns out that it wasn't meant to be the case. It turns out that this cookie is made based on potato, so basically this is essentially a potato noodle cookie. <laughs> Yes, uh, apparently the name, the actual name of this cookie is Fan Hao Zi Cookie. That's the name I'll show you right here. So I'm sorry if I butchered the pronunciation of that one. <laughs> so what do I think about this particular cookie? Well, in one word, so pretty. <laughs> oh no, that's two words actually. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to the trial itself. So in this part of this particular video, you are seeing my very first attempt at conquering this particular cookies trial at the Diamond Crank. And the treasure set is the Red Egg of Resurrection, that's the treasure on the middle. Then there's the Turbo Booster, that's the treasure on the right. And last but not least is the Coco Palm Family Tree. <laughs> Maybe I should nickname that treasure, even though that's not the actual name of the treasure. The actual name of that particular treasure is the Sniffly Coco Palm. So yeah, in essence, I like her design and I especially love her super epic costume. Sadly, I didn't manage to get it in this particular video. And probably someday when I did manage to get the particular costume, and I will show it to you in this particular cookie style just like as usual. And hopefully I, with that costume, uh, I managed to get into the top 100 of this particular cookies trial. And also, later on, you are going to see uh, the run that I did in the hard difficulty without the use of legendary treasure. And last but not least, uh, the last run will be the run in hard difficulty, but I use one of the legendary treasures. Oh yeah, last but not least, I really do like this particular cookies trial team. I absolutely love it, and I'll probably add it to my collection of song playlists, well, at least my own personal collection. And you might probably think to yourself, well, if I put that Act of Resurrection and the cookie managed to do the last skill before the ability is activated, then it will be a waste of time, isn't it? Well, most of the time it is, but sadly this one is not to be the case, because it turns out that this particular part of this trial, uh, there is some little bit of help, and by grabbing the health icon, and you'll get some little bit of health boost, and those health boosts is enough in order to make starch noodle cookie uh, do the last kill. So yeah, that's pretty much it that you need to know about how to conquer uh, starch noodle cookie style in the diamond rank. And I'll see you in the next video where I try to beat this particular cookie style on the hard difficulty. Now it's time to conquer the hard difficulty of this particular cookie style. I'm using the newest treasure, at least the epic treasure, of the Crimson Dragon Mask, that's the treasure located on the left side. The Sniffly Coco Palm, that's the treasure on the middle, and last but not least, it is the Bubble Wave Shell on the right. And the reason why I'm using Bubble Wave Shell is for situations like this. As you can see, there's a lot of jellies that we need to collect, and by having blue wave shells, it makes the job a lot easier. 
Sure, overall, it took me a couple of attempts to beat this particular cookie style perfectly. Uh, the first time I tried it, I ended up crashing like twice and ended up falling into the water. <laughs> so that's not a perfect result. And I think if I'm not mistaken, this was the second or third attempt to do this. And yeah, I finally know what I'm supposed to do, uh, especially there's a one sector where you, you need to pay attention that what you need to do but overall at least this style isn't as difficult as Pond Dino Cookies style that style was an absolute nightmare and that's the main reason why I never wanted to cover Pond Dino Cookies style <laughs> and also one more thing that I wanted to say before I end the narration part at least for now is I imagine this cookie skill would be like Robbery cookie skill and yeah, I was like 90% correct. <laughs> the only part where I got it wrong is I imagined that this cookie will fly through the stage and gaining a lot of distance, but sadly that's not meant to be the case. But still, I still love this cookie skill. And also the fact that uh, she uses her green cabbage potato sauce. As you can see, that's the uh, dinosaur that is located, uh, you know, following her all the time. Uh, she uses that and oh that actually turned out to be like a lot bigger i it suddenly got bigger i didn't realize that until now <laughs> okay so it turned back into a small version again okay oh uh, okay so finally that makes sense i was thinking about uh, well, you know if this potato sauce cookie is so small how did she manage to fly by using it and it turns out that the Pteosaurus managed to grow like a lot bigger when she does the skill. Anyway, that's the end of the narration part, at least for the moment. And I'll see you in the next part, which I conquered this trial once again, but this time I'm going to use one of the legendary treasures. Alrighty then, the final part of this video, and I still use the exact same magic candy bonus as I did in the previous two runs. So I'm using the magic candy bonus of uh, the booster of the yellow bear jellies, there you go. Plus I think it's around 990 points if I'm not mistaken. Uh, definitely it's below 1000, it is not perfect but at least that's the very first uh, bonus that I get when I try to get the button boost in the uh, magic candy mechanics and yeah that's pretty much it and also last but not least something that I really forgot until I just remember it right now I managed to uh, level up the legendary treasures the Agenus Tempora I've managed to max it out all the way into level 8 at the moment although I will definitely use it the crystals way more until I manage to max it out already and because this is cookies trial, uh, the maximum level for any uh, class of treasures is at level 7. So the game technically counts it as I managed to max out the legendary treasures. Anyway, that's pretty much it at least for this video, uh, the next part of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm also Michael Kohn, signing it off. And the next video it is going to be the... Uh, exploration on the dragon's battlefield it is quite a while and because the video itself took so long and especially took so much space i need to clear up uh, some of these uh, shorter videos before i can put that one in and i haven't played the breakout map at least the new version of it and what i do know is the sister added one more stage and that is located in the longest palace and that's pretty much it for me i'm also Galcon, saying it off Enjoy the rest of the video, thank you so much for watching, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now everyone.